Can I start hyperventilating now? <laughs> Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? O-M-G. I, oh. You guys. Okay. Cat's out of the bag. I can finally tell you guys. Oh. I have been sitting on this for about 12 weeks. 12 weeks, you guys. I don't know if you noticed in a few of my videos, I have been saying that things are happening. Things are coming. Things blah, 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 blah. Blah. Um, <laughs> I, I am absolutely <sighs> flabbergasted. Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I don't even know what to think. <sighs> you guys, my niece, my sister's daughter, Charlene, You've met Michelle. She's pregnant, you guys. Oh! Ah! I can't. <laughs> oh. Even though it's, I've known this for a while, it's now that we have the all clear that we can say something. She's, she's in the, in the clear. Um, the it's overwhelming it is very overwhelming um there is a storyline behind this um i hadn't even come down yet from hearing that my daughter was pregnant and having a baby this december it was very shortly after that that I got the call from my niece saying, guess what? <laughs> Tia's not alone. Um, we, we've been holding our breath. Uh, we've been sitting on eggshells or walking on eggshells. We've been, we've just been waiting to make sure that everything was okay and that this was a go. And we just got the confirmation, it's a go. Um, <laughs> so my sister is over the moon. Um, this is her first grandchild as well. So we're going through this grandma thing together. <laughs> okay, here's the story. Oh. When I found out that I was pregnant with my first child, with Ashley, um, it was like, holy cow. <laughs> we knew that Ashley was going to be born in May. And or sorry, in February. Um, and my sister found out four months later that she was pregnant and that she had a child coming as well. And it was our first babies together. Tia and Michelle are four months apart. <sighs> what? <laughs> we, we just, th there were so many things that happened that just went, ch -ch 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 and we went, okay, there's somebody at work here. Somebody in the family up there is saying, hey, wouldn't this be fun? And they 
have now made history repeat itself and um, it's just we're we're absolutely <sighs> thrilled beyond beyond um, the we had a lot of um, a lot of stuff happen in a negative fashion over the last what three years right so for this um for this to happen it it we couldn't ask for anything better this is just crazy um so here i was all freaked out and worried that i'm going to be a first time grandma and i'm going oh i don't know what to do now my sister is a first time grandma too and we're going to be going through this together so we can lean on each other and um and experience this all together we can do all the grandma shopping <laughs> so <laughs> it's going to be so fun um michelle is not going to have a gender reveal she is going to do it old-fashioned way and you know find out what the baby find out what the gender is and uh, and then just tell us so that we can <clears throat> shop accordingly <laughs> so uh, so as soon as she finds out, I will let you guys know. Um, they seem to think my sister was actually in the ultrasound room with her, uh, and finding out, you know, if everything was all okay and all the fingers and toes and all that kind of stuff. Um, so they, her and Michelle seem to think it's a girl. I'm not so sure. I have always thought that Tia and Michelle were going to have boys. Um, with Michelle, I'm kind of wavering. I'm, I, I have to wait. Uh, I'm going to wait a little while. I'm going to kind of do the same thing I did with Tia. Feel the aura. See, see what I, I can feel. I knew right away. I knew Tia was having a boy. I just knew it. I don't know if it was a mom instinct in me or what was going on. But <clears throat> with Michelle, I always pictured her with a little boy. But now I'm kind of going, mm, don't know. So um, the one thing we were sitting there, we were, we were really wondering... Because we, we figured that one of them was going to have twins. We figured, you know, we haven't had twins in our family for a couple generations now. And so we figured we're going to have, she's going to have twins. Her, her significant other, Dennis, is a twin. And so we were like, oh, like, okay, let's, let's just calm down here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but she's in fact only having one that's probably a blessing um so yeah so now we just gotta wait and see what the gender of hers is i'm kind of going based on what they're saying so i i showed you guys the two sweaters that i just made whoops um whoop. the this one was for tia's um, Tia's baby. This one is actually for Michelle's. Okay. Um, so yeah, I couldn't tell you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't say anything until I got the okay. But yes, this one is for Michelle's baby. Um, I figure even if it comes out as a boy, uh, then this color can still be used for a boy. So, but they seem to think it's a girl. So I don't know. So I've been looking at girl stuff. Um, I'm starting to kind of get it in my head and I'm going, oh, little girl outfits and all this. I did make something that, um, I, I've been wanting to try and make 
and I had no real reason to make it. So hang on, I'll show it to you. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is a failure or not, but <laughs> isn't it cute? <laughs> so it is a circle, a circular um, vest. So, and I made it with the new Colorama uh, Halo, but I just, I thought it was adorable. I mean, of course, the, the child won't be able to wear it until she's like one, but you know, I got to stock up now, right? <laughs> so I thought it was so cute. I thought it was, so <laughs> I, you know, there's not a lot of things that you can make for a boy with crochet and Michelle crochets herself, right? Like she, she makes all the things I can't. So I figure, well, she can make, you know, she's going to probably be making a bunch of stuff for the baby anyway. But I just thought, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go for it. <clears throat> so I thought that was really cute. <laughs> so she hasn't seen it yet, but if she watches this video, I'm sure she'll see it now. Hi, Michelle. Um, so anyway, Michelle is due in April. Yes. So we, and this is another thing that makes me think, hey, somebody's working up there and all the things are aligning. <sighs> Because all of my OGs that have been with me there for quite a while know that um, <clears throat> my late husband passed away in April, in April, on April 11th. 11th is the sign of angels. Um, and so April has always been a hard month for me. So now, Christmas is a hard time for our family. April is a hard time for our family. Tia's pregnant and or she's going to give birth in December. Michelle is pregnant and going to give birth in April. You see where I'm going with this? Um, I think they are trying to heal our family. I really believe that. Um, and it's going to work. It, it's working. Um, <laughs> all of the negative, bad, mojo-y stuff, tragedy uh, that's happened in our family is being healed through our grandchildren uh, and our children. So <sighs> it's just... The signs are too hard to ignore. Um, so I'm not going to ignore them. <laughs> it's like, okay, you guys, you, you're saying enough is enough. It's time to heal our family. Okay, let's go. I'm ready for it. Believe me, I am ready for it. Uh, so I am so happy. And I, I it's, it's going to be crazy. Next Christmas, we're going to have both babies and, well, they aren't going to be babies by that time. Um, and it's, it's going to be wild from that point on, you know, it's holidays are going to be filled with so much love and laughter and I'm up for it, man. I am up for it. I am tired of having this dread over me and you know feeling like I can't enjoy certain times of the year or anything because of all this dread and I know like George says well just get over it just move on just like whatever it's not that easy anybody any of you that know when tragedy strikes like that you know, it's, it's difficult. It's really difficult to just move on. Right. <clears throat> so, um, 
So, um, yeah, I'm just so happy. <laughs> so, yes, I, I'm going to be busy. Um, my sister's going to be busy. It's, I mean, it's going to be like, you know, December is going to be just crazy. And then we'll have January with the new baby and then boom, 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 boom. It's going to happen and we're going to be doing it all over again. So <laughs> I, I just, I'm so happy. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys saying that between now and January, there's a lot of you out there that are having grandbabies. I am so happy for you guys. It's like we can all, we could be like the grandma club. <laughs> we can all be grandmas together. Um, so I, it's, it's still surreal for me. Um, I just, Tia has started feeling like baby kicking. Uh, she's sending me little clips of the the little kicks happening. So, yeah, it's I've just got goosebumps. Oh, you know, it's 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 happening and I'm so excited and my sister is thrilled and it's just going to be a good time. From this point out, we we are going to have some really good times. Thank you. <laughs> So, okay, guys, now you're in the know. You now know what is really happening in our family. Um, it's such a joyous occasion. And, uh, yeah, so tell me what you guys think I should be making. Like, leave in the comments down below any patterns that you, you think I should be making. Um, yeah, so, okay, I love you all. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.